Very unusual stories often add value and change the perspectives or helps to revisit the perspectives which we have. I am going to bring to you a few stories here which will help to revisit the perspectives you have which is going to add some amount of skills and value to one's lives. So let me bring you story number one. There was a little boy who was standing on the highway and a man who lives in the same area for the last 30 years is going for a evening stroll. When he's going for a evening stroll, he sees a little boy standing on the highway and wonders what the boy is doing there. The man walks up to the boy and asks, Hey little boy, what are you doing here? The boy looks up to the man and says, Uncle, I'm standing for a bus to come here. I'm waiting for it. The man says, Hey little boy, the bus stop is there. Go stand there. The bus doesn't stop here. The, but the boy being admitted says, Uncle, no, the bus is going to come here. The man thinks maybe the child is playing, let him play. And the man starts walking. But you know, the experience, the exposure cannot fail you. So the man starts thinking, how can this boy stand in the place where the bus stop is somewhere else? And how can the boy get a bus at the point where he's standing? So the man turns back, turns back and sees the little boy standing at the same point again and wonders what boy is doing and standing at the same point, not moving an inch on right or left. So the man walks back to the little boy and says, Hey little boy, listen to me. I leave the same area for the last 30 years. The bus doesn't stop here. There's a bus stop, bus stops there. The boy again adamant looks at the man and says, Uncle, I'm telling you the bus going to come here. The man thinks, how can this be possible? For the last 30 years I stay here, the bus never stopped for me and how can a bus stop for a little boy? To wondering to see whether this is going to happen, the man stands next to the boy thinking, let me see what happens in the next moment. After a moment, a bus comes from a distance and stops exactly at the same point. The man is surprised, thinking how could this happen, it never happened to me. The boy quickly gets into the bus, takes a window seat, puts his head out and says, Uncle, I forgot to tell you, the driver of the bus is my father, that is why the bus stopped here. This is a very unusual story the way we look into perspective because we believe in our experience and exposure. We always believe that is something always has to be right. But it is always very difficult to step out of our experience and exposure and look into different perspectives. I am sure the story number one gives us that perspective. Let us move to story number two. This was my personal experience which I happened to have it entire my childhood life. When we were in a place in Bagalkot or in Bijapur, we often used to travel to Mumbai to my maternal parents house. To reach to Mumbai, we need to go to Sholapur and then change a train. And every time we need to do a waiting of one and a half hour of connecting train. So while we were waiting at the Sholapur station every time in our vacation, a summer vacations, my mom used to pull me and my brother and, and my father at times and introduce a man on the station. And being a very little child at that time, I used to wonder who I'm meeting. And every time the the pleasantries used to be like, the, my mother used to tell like, why don't you come to our home, visit some time. And the man used to tell, you also please come with your family to our home. This continued for several years as wondering who is this man we meet every time on station, but we never meet and uncle doesn't come to your home. When I grew up, when I moved to high school and one such summer vacation we were traveling and we happened to be in Sholapur station and my mom again pulled me, my brother and my father to meet that man and we had same pleasantry exchange. So I made an attempt to ask my dad, like, Dad, who, who is this man every time we meet at station? And my mom says that come home and uh, the uncle says come to our home and neither we go to his home, neither he comes to our home. What is this uh, kind of a person we are and we don't understand, we don't relate to it. So I asked my dad, uh, who is this man we meet on station every time? So my father looked at me and smiled and said, this is a mom's first marriage proposal guy and we every time come here and she meets him. So I was wondering, I did not like the idea of meeting somebody whom you reject or somebody rejected you. Then how can you be in touch with that person? I did not understand the idea behind this. So I told my dad, I don't think you should be in touch with somebody who rejects you or you reject somebody. So my dad looked at me back and said, what is wrong in meeting good people and what is being, what is wrong in learning to move on in life? So that is a huge learning. I probably took many years to understand that, no, it is okay to be rejected and still be in good terms still have good pleasantries among people because you know that you are going to create one world not many world around you. You are going to have one life so probably our message was learned was make has things as much as good possible. I feel that very unusual stories can help you to look into a perspective change the way you look in course of life. Let me bring you story number three on this. After every day of my school my typical routine would have been go to the hospital my father used to work and go and sit in the corner and observe what he does. 
it had been a routine process what he did every day a patient walks into the chamber he looks into the patient's eye with a torch and then he says take your tongue out again he should observe something and he used to think for something and give an injection and prescribe something and probably every day looked something but i was still a keen observer seeing what he does with every patient one day a patient came and sat in front of my dad and my father did the same thing looking into the eye and looking into the tongue and he thought for a while and again he gave one injection and said the patient to go away the patient stood up but seems to be wanting to ask something my father looked up and said what do you want the man said doctor in my village i've heard along the injection you also give some medicine and i think you should prescribe some medicine to me my father said i don't think you need medicine you just go now that is injection is enough but he was very persistent saying that no no give me at least half medicine i want to take this medicine and i don't think i'm going to cure myself my father was like little reluctant to give medicine but he scripts he scribbled something gave a prescription to the man the man smiled and took away as if he's winning against the doctor perspectives so after some time in the evening when i was walking back with my dad i was holding my dad hand i asked dad why did you overdose a man when i think you should not give more medicine than required to the body and it is not good so my dad looked patiently at me and listened patiently and said i understand my child but you know that the patient we need to win patient's heart so i prescribed him vitamin b complex tablet and patient thinks this is probably a tablet for curing his particular disease so there was one more a very different perspective which i learned that you need to probably work to make things happen and build relationships around by trying to make things work for everyone around and there is probably a solution for various problems when people come to a junction where you feel that it needs a solution rather, rather than it needs anything else so, so i believe unusual stories add various skills they bring skills to us to our kitty and make our life and give a greater success